Hello and welcome to part 8 of my Let's Play of Pokemon Platinum. It's been a few weeks since we had an episode of Platinum, however it is now the 1st of July. We are ready to rock and roll with the series and uh, Platinum and Pokemon Yellow are back in line, both on episode 8 this week, so that's fun. Uh, also, want to let you know, since this is a Pokemon video and it may well be of interest to some people, today is the launch day for Pokebazer. So, head on over to the link in the description below. Uh, you'll find it, it'll say Pokebazer and there'll be a link. You follow that, it'll take you to my new Pokemon only YouTube channel. So, that doesn't mean the Pokemon content here will be stopping. We've still got Platinum, we've still got Yellow, and we've still got Let's Go Eevee. What it does mean, though, is it that, that will be hopefully, as near as possible to daily Pokemon videos. So if you love my Pokemon content and you want more of it, head over there. It may be that once a couple of the series on this channel end, they might not instantly be replaced, renewed, the focus might move over to Pokebazer, but there will always be some Pokemon content, especially when new games come out and stuff like that, on this channel. It's just, now there's a second option as well, so go check it out. Anyway, enough enough uh shilling for the start of the episode we'll do the rest at the end let's do a team recap as much for my good as yours okay so we have brockett the level seven onyx who is a female as far as brockett who is a quirky nature and has tackle rock smash bind and screech next we have molly the level 12 female shinx Shinx is the base one's name, yep, yeah, right, okay, good. Who has Tackle, Lair, and Charge, so wonderful moveset at the moment. Next, we have Lorenzo, the level 12 Starly. Again, Starly, right? Yep, yeah, I'm good at Gen 4, me, guys. Tackle, Growl, Wing Attack, and Quick Attack, don't know why I said them in the wrong order, is Lorenzo's moveset. And last but not least, we have Scamper, who is now, I was going to say all grown up, but, you know, kind of a teenager. Uh, <laughs> the level 16 male Prinplop, I got, I'm pretty sure I got that one right, with Pound, Metal Claw, Bubble, and Peck. Is Metal Claw stab yet? No, we're still just a water type. Terrific. So, in the last episode, what happened? <laughs> Let's have a look. Oh, it's on the bottom screen, it's on the bottom screen. I don't seem to have any badges, so I'm guessing... Wait, I thought, I thought I got the badge. Wait. Did I not get the badge in the last episode? I kind of thought I did. Where's the gym? Where's the game? Maybe I just got ready for the badge and didn't actually go and get it. Maybe that was what happened. Where on earth is the gym? I actually don't know this. I don't know anything about this game. It's a blind let's play, guys. So you'll have to forgive me. Uh, okay, there's some clown guard in that. Um, oh, look, there's an item there. We'll have that. A Pataion. Very good, very good. Let's go. Right, uh, where is Z Gym? What's this building? Oh, it's the Jubilife TV Fun and Games TV station. What's this? Condominiums. Oh, dear. Okay, that looks like story up there. Looks like Route 203. <laughs> Where's the game? Am I might be being blind, guys? Am I might be being blind? What's this? Is this the game? Trainer school. Aha! What's this? Global terminal. Online nonsense. Where is the gym? What's this building? Oh, I think I've been in here. This isn't a gym. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been in here. Oh my goodness. This is a great start to the episode, guys. You're all screaming at your screens. The gym's over here, we basically, you idiot. What's this building? Not a gym, I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's just, that's not even a sign for that building. Am I, am I being super blind? Let me have a look. Okay. What's down this route? Remind me. Yeah, okay. Let me have a look at my map. Let me look at my map. Where on earth are we? Let's have a look. Where are we? We're down here. So we started... 
in Twin Leaf. So we came up this way to get here, didn't we? Is there a gym in Jubilife? I haven't got a clue. Right, let's go have a look at that story advancement. Cause what are you saying? Pokemon may hold a single item. No, I think we've spoken to you. Oh. Hello? I've just lost my feed. Ah! Ah, we're back! <laughs> oh, what a great episode. Right, okay, so. So, 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 so. I don't know where my connection went then. I guess we just go up here. Right. Now, 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 now. Wait, now, 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 now. Yeah, that's the right number. Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over all your research findings for free, naturally. Failure to comply will result in a painful time for your assistant. Wait, okay. Mwah, Beza. What, how is the Pokedex progressing? Oh, I just completely no sells that. Like, yeah, 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 threaten me. I've got more important things to talk about. How's your Pokedex, dude? Hmm. That's all the gym badge I see. Okay, apparently we've already been to the gym. <laughs> But I hadn't given you your first Pokemon. Hadn't I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like second nature to you. Mystery Man. Oh, Professor of Pokemon, must you be so difficult? We are speaking to you on business because this is work for us. What we're saying is we demand you comply with our demands. Quiet, Surat. Why must you be such a nuisance? Let me list some lessons you still need to learn. 1. Don't blight out about for no good reason. 2. Don't interrupt others while they're attempting to converse. 3. If you don't get your way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. 4. Don't think you've grown strong just because you're in a group. 5. What is with those outlandish outfits you have on? Oh, Baron! My goodness, you call yourselves adults. You kids, don't grow up to be like these sorry specimens. Hey, you have to make this personal. <laughs> you have forced our hand into making a show of force. We will make you regret insulting Team Galactic. Blue kids, give these dogs a lesson in civility, please. Hey, Baza! I don't remember Dan's voice, so it's being that. Let's battle together! Is this going to be a double battle? I love me some double battles, guys. I love me a double battle or two. It is! Nice! I'd rather it was just me in a double battle. Like, I don't want to have stupid AI next to me, but it is what it is, I guess. It is what it is. Can I do these touch brockets? I know we're low level, but can I do them really touch brockets? Mm, can I touch either of them, I think, would be the more relevant question, which is a no. So I might as well switch. Let's get... Um... Oh, I'm so bad at, like, typings. Is Glamio... Psychic... Stunk is like poison or dark poison. Hmm. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna go high leveled. I'm just gonna go scamper. If in doubt, send your highest out. There you go. You can take that one to the bank. Growl! How dare you growl at me? Growl. Oh. Poison gas. Poison the monkey, thank you. Oh, it's our start I've just realized I've sent out my starter to team up with Darn starter. Very good. Right, I don't particularly want poisoning, so I think we're going to uh, shoot for... Um... Can I get some, like, info on one of the... Okay, you know what? Let's cancel. Let's go Pokemon. Let's go into you. Let's check moves. Let's have a look at this. So this is 40 power. Um, but it's been reduced by Growl. By to two thirds, so that's roughly 27, 26, 27 power. Okay, uh, what about you? So you're stronger, uh, but you're still reduced, so you're oh, quick maths, um, or slow maths in this case 32, 33, something like that power. Bubble is stab, but it's still only 30 power. Okay, so it's looking like Metal Claw. What are my stats like? Okay, I've got much higher special attack than attack, so I actually think Bubble's the best move then. Not taking into account their stats, but I think Bubble's my best bet here. 
Oh, we hit both as well. Okay, we'll take that. Probably does a bit less than 30, but it does it to both, so I'll take that. Okay, it doesn't poison me. I'm, I'm okay with that. I'm fairly pleased with that. Fairly pleased with that. Okay, that... I'm not that pleased with that, to be honest. But... Oh, that's Glamiao down. That is Glamiao down. Okay, very good. Right, so now it's time to take this Stunky down. Done. Oh, no, don't poison me. Okay, missed. It, she either aimed at the wrong person. Oh, he either aimed at the wrong person. Or it just flat out missed. Right, what does Ember do? Not enough. Not enough. Don't poison me on the last turn. That'd be a bit scummy. That'd be a bit scummy. Okay, Fury Swipes. And to Chimchow as well. I can cope with that. Hey, Fury Swipes would be really good if it, like, alternated between targets. So you choose your first target... And then it hits the person, like, the person, the Pokemon next to them, and then it comes back, and then, yeah, that'd be quite good. I'd like that as a mechanic. Boop, 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 boop. Oh, that victory music, wow. This won't do, time to retreat, the mission is a failure, I think is what the last line said. I didn't really read it in time. You leave us no option. We will retreat for now. We shall do so because Team Galactic is benevolent to all. Okay. That's what they call themselves, Team Galactic. Team Galactic. When Pokemon evolve, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe that it's a mystic power far beyond our control. But Team Galactic seems to be studying that power's potential. They want to know if it can be used as energy for something. Hey, Basil, did you know? The professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too. According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon are somehow tied to evolution. Is that true? Is that true? The 90% of Pokemon play some part in evolution? Maybe. Well, maybe that's the best. That's the reason those people tried to take the professor's research data by force. Uh, that's really unforgivable. It's all over, so you can relax now. Still, thanks to Yuto, nothing came of that situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Amazer, kudos to you for your battling skill. It got me thinking, why don't you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you will be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. That, of course, means your Pokedex pages will continuously fill up. In other words, it will be a great help to my research. That said, I have given you your first Pokemon and Pokedex as yours to keep. You are free to do that with them as you wish. Take care now. Thanks. Oh, who are you? Oh, that was very good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, I beg your pardon. I'm from Jubilife TV. I'd like you to have something for letting me see that smashing battle. Awesome. Thanks. That's what I wanted. I wanted a fashion case. Contained in a fashion case, you'll find a whole spectrum of chic accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch their appeal grow. And right now, the TV station is offering, offering its facilities so visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There are also prize giveaways too, so please do visit our TV station. Do we have to? I mean, I did say I would do everything in this game. So, I guess we're going to go see what this nonsense is about in today's episode. So, anyone that knows what this is about and doesn't like it, because I can see that coming. Um, thanks for watching. <laughs> they keep track of official records here. Things like winning streaks or how many Pokemon you've caught. You can check everyone's records up on the third floor. Terrific. TV station interviews all sorts of trainers for its shows. After all, people want to know about good trainers and what they say. Personally, I'd like to learn more about gym leaders. I'd also like to hear about the tough Elite Four of the Pokemon League. I'm going to get commercials thrown on TV. They'll attract more customers to the department store. I mean, that's how advertising is supposed to work, yes. Oh, wow, I'm doing well here. This is the Pokemon Lottery Corner. I'm Felicity, your attendant today. If your drawn number matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon, you could win fabulous gifts. Would you like to check today's lucky number? Yes. First, I'll look up today's Pokemon Lottery Corner lucky number. Dot, dot, dot. Your lotto ticket number is 13250. Now, let's see if it matches the ID number of any of your Pokemon. I'm sorry, you didn't get a match. Okay, cool. That was a waste of my life. Why don't you try dressing up your Pokemon now? Oh, why don't you try dressing up your Pokemon now? We have a fitting room on the second floor. Dress up your Pokemon nicely with accessories. I'm going to assume that's the same guy. Don't actually know that, though. Don't actually know that for sure, though. What are you saying? The room at the back is our dreamy fitting room. Once you're done in there, get our dreamy hiker to take a dreamy photo. Dreamy. 
Star Tomo is you! Crank that soldier boy. Uh, your Pokemon has a glow about it. So a gift for our future star. Piplup mask. Okay. Okay. So that happened. I don't know what to do. What accessories go well with my dress today? Um, you should accessorize with a healthy uh, amount of shutting the hell up. That's what you should do. Hey, buddy. Oh, your Pokemon are so very charming. How enchanting. They're so charming. I will even hang a picture of one right beside me. Uh, I'm only doing this especially for you. Exciting, don't you think? Dress up your Pokemon in my boudoir and make it a sight to behold. I will snap a photo when you're done. You will do this, won't you? Go on, then. Ooh, yes. How nice. Let's not delay. Should I explain to you how to dress up your Pokemon? Sure. You have a fashion case, don't you? Oh, wee, oui, wonderful. Just choose the accessories and put them on your Pokemon. When you're done, I'll snap a photo and put it up beside me. If you mix your records with others, you can get their photos too. I think it would be much easier if you would just try. Ooh, I wonder which Pokemon you'll dress up. Um, okay, so we got a Piplup mask, so let's go with Primplup. <laughs> I hope you'll dress it up adorably. Can we even, like, my player characters sort of um, tentative, shall we say, about going in there. You can see your accessories on the left side of the lower screen. Touch an accessory, drag it to your Pokemon on the right, and position it securely. You can put on 10 accessories, so you should check for the right ones using the arrow buttons. Change the background with the square button at the center right. Okay, let's begin dressing up. Okay, so I'm going to need my stylus. Stylus and profilus. Let's have a look. Uh, so first of all, we can change the background. Can we? Oh, okay. I can. Okay, all right. I can choose that on the left now. Oh yeah, let's have a snowy. Yeah, let's have a snowy backdrop. Right. What's what's all this nonsense? Got feathers. Got a moustache, yeah, we're putting a moustache on. you damn right. That's not the right place for a moustache, is it? That's where you put a moustache. Yes, a moustache, you a question. Uh, make you cute again. Hang on, we could we could take the moustache off. There you go. Yeah, Piplup is way cuter than Primplup, don't at me. Pipple up with a moustache. Yes. Uh, and then we've got some some feathers. So let's give you some additional feathers. There we go. Oh, beautiful. Could not have done any better. No one on the planet has ever made a prettier Pokemon. Done. Is your Pokemon all dressed up? Yes, it is. Try to save the design. Yes, I would. P Piplup mask wearing Primplup. With a moustache. Oh, nice work. Let's display the photo right away. Oh, but it needs to have a title. Um. ABC mode. Okay. Uh... Whoa, what? Okay, so we can't just type. Mr. Piplup. Oh. We can't have two words. Okay, well, it's just being called Piplup then. Piplup. Oh, oh, yes, yes, I get it now. You get the joke, do you? Yeah, okay. Your aesthetic shine, right? Your aesthetic shine just through. I put your photo right here. It just looks so perfect there. Where you put it? Is it this one? Yeah, boy! There's Piplup by Beza. What a beast. What a beast. Let's have a look at what are some of these other pictures about. Okay, it's just empty frames. I'm going to guess they're all empty. I'm not going to bother going talking to all of them. What are you two saying? Someone gave me a new backdrop when I went to the Global Terminal. That's thrilling. They display photos and trainers you've been mixing records with, right? I hope you collect yourself some good photos of dressed up Pokemon. Mm, no, I'm probably not going to. Not going to lie. Probably not going to. Uh, there's another floor in this building, though. 
So that's happening. I should say there's at least one more floor. What's this? The room closest to the stairs is the group ranking room. The room on the opposite side is the global ranking room. Okay, I'll be using neither of those. Records are fine things, they tell you the history of stuff. You can really sense the dramatic stories behind all those numbers. I just realised something awesome. I should be trading Pokemon more. The more trades I make, the better my odds of winning the Pokemon lottery. Why? Because the ID number of a trade of a Pokemon is different from trainer to trainer. Yep. Hey there, how's it going? I'm a TV producer here. Are you watching TV? So let me ask you, will you tell me your opinion on TV? Sure. Um. Oh, is that all I've got? Um. Wow. I'd like to put question mark now, okay. Um, my, my feelings on TV are, Pokemon, oh, okay, 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 I thought that was just the word I was picking, um, what's in Pokemon 2, um, Um, damp. <laughs> damp. Um. <laughs> damp baby. <laughs> that's what... <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's interesting. <laughs> Moving right along, what feedback can you give me about TV? Uh, okay. Um... Ah, ha, 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 ha. Um. 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 I should just do it really quick, but I'm trying to make something stupid and funny. Um, oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can go to this one, and we can go... No, not... No. Was it Lifestyle? Uh, no, it was not Lifestyle. Was it Trainer? Easy! And then we can go to People. And we can go to... Easy Mother. Yeah, we'll tell him his mother's easy. How's that? How's that for an answer? Oh yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> Did you not know? Thanks for answering my questions. I'll file it away for reference. Keep your channel tuned to Jubilee TV. So you didn't give me anything for wasting my life with that, no. Git. It's because I called his mother easy. He didn't give me a reward. He didn't give me a gift. Right. Oh, top floor it looks like. Nice hat. Participation for all is our TV network's motto. Fascinating. We're promoting the, same, the theme, Smiles Are Dreamy. In keeping with that theme, we added variety programs to our scheduling. Please do tune in. Your exploits are fantastic, thank you. With our TV station, we can tell the whole world about you. It's merely one of many possibilities. Harumph. Okay. Harumph to you too, sir. Okay. So I think we're done here. I think we're done with all this nonsense. Hi! Hello, thank you for taking the time out of your busy day to visit us. To which floor may I take you? Wow, nice, nice grammar. Nice grammar. Look at that. Here we are. Here we are. Almost, almost, almost. There we are. Right, so let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. And I suppose we should actually leave Jubilife in today's episode, even though we're already quite far in. We've made literally no progress. Can I get to the item? Yep, looks like it. Ooh, encounter. Have I been on Route 204 yet? I don't think I have. Oh, we've already got a Bidoof, though. Bidoof, doof, doof. Go on, then, Brockett. Give this thing a slap. Let's get some training. Let's do a Pokemon battle other than just that double battle. That's literally all the Pokemoning that we've done in this episode, really. Oh, well. The whole point of this series is I've never played it before, so I'm taking my time getting through the game. And having fun with it, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. 
Boom, boom. Go on then, block it. Yes, go on, love. Right, so what is this item? A paralyzed heal. I wonder what that does. Cool, thank you. And we're out. Awesome. Okay, let's get into a battle. Why the devil not? Ooh, a weak looking trainer. Do you want to have a go? I mean, do you charge? Like, what, what's the deal here? <laughs> <laughs> oh look, you're gonna do well against my Onyx. You're gonna do fantastically, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Okay, so we gonna bind so that we get some damage on. A weak looking trainer, how dare she? How dare she? Oh, Tackle's doing lots of damage, right. So yeah, now we get residual damage each turn. We can now start rock smashing because that can reduce defense, can't it? And therefore kill you faster. Oh, speaking of reducing defense, now you might do two damage with a tackle. Who knows? Possibilities are endless. We're not getting the drops. We're not getting the drops, but I think as long as we don't release bind, I think we can now knock it out with one more rock smash. Oi, think. Oi, think. Yeah, we can. Sit down, Shinx. You did two damage because I'm pretty sure I had one damage on me. At the start. Wow, you're saying I looked. Oh, I should have said no. Wow. This is a really innuendo -y kind of battle, isn't it? If you're going to say no. Oh, you're so mean. I just started training Pokemon. I don't care. Not even one tiny little bit. What does this sign say? Tells me Jubilife City is back there. Hey, buddy. You want a battle? Go on, then. One more battle. I'll beat you with the Magikarp my dad gave me. Somehow, I don't think you will. Somehow, I don't think you will do that, sir. No, you won't. Okay, okay. So, um, I guess I guess we do the same strategy again. We bind and then we just attack until it dies. This is not even going to give us enough experience to level up because Magikarp, being a pitiful Pokemon, gives pitiful experience. Kind of makes sense if you think about it. I wonder if they program in each Pokemon's, like, experience-giving curve, or if it's just based on its stats. Or so. Oh look, we get the drop in the really, really, really unnecessary battle for that. I wonder if they like program it in so they like go into Magikarp's data and it's like, right, if you beat a level X Magikarp, you get this much experience. Or if it's kind of based on stats and, and stuff like that. I could see it being based on like base stat total. That makes sense. Right, anyway, Magikarp's down. Magic down. If anyone knows, feel free to let me know in the comments. I'm kind of curious. Let me know how they work out experience. Oh, we did get the level up. Beautiful. Level 9 Brockette. Progress has been made. Wants to learn rock throw. You damn right. Forget a move. Which move should be forgotten. Probably Screech. Because Rock Smash can drop defense. Yeah, probably Screech. Let's, let's just go with that. We don't tend to do like tactical moves in normal playthroughs of games. They're for competitive battles really, aren't they? For the most part. Youngster Tyler, but their Pokemon, it's a Pokemon I got from my dad. No one cares. No one cares. Who gave you your first Pokemon? Your first Pokemon is the one with the most fond memories, I think. Uh, Professor Oak gave me my first Pokemon. Mate. Right, anyway. It was a Pikachu. Let's go back and heal, even though we've not really taken that much damage. And we'll call it quits on the episode here. It's not been a very action-y episode, but we have cleared the way of a load of story and faffing aboutness. So that in the next episode, we can really make some progress. So, leave a like if you enjoyed. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new here and share with your friends if you think they would enjoy. Don't forget to let me know in the comments how experience is determined if you know. Uh, and also let me know who gave you your first Pokemon. Uh, in the description, there are links, as I said before, to Pokebaser. Uh, also to WWE Baser if you like wrestling, then go check that out. Uh, but also to my Patreon, where for just $1 a month, you can support my YouTube venture. And it would be greatly appreciated. So feel free to go and check out the link and uh, make a decision if you would like to support or not. If not, it's absolutely fine. Just do all the other good stuff. Like, share, comment, subscribe. All that. All that lovey-dovey-ness. But for now, all I have left to say is thank you very much for watching. As always, I've been Ibeza, you've been amazing, and I'll see you next time.